Good morning, guys. Happy Wednesday. I'm up early for a meeting before I start my work day today. Um, I'm in Duke of York Square, which is, if you don't know, like Sloan Square area. And I will show you. There we go. I actually really like this restaurant. It's called Vardo. And it's right next to the Saatchi. So, very pretty. I am a hunky girl. So, let's get some breakfast. home it is 5 30 um, my hair looks like this because it's so windy outside and also i'm really struggling for hairstyles like i mostly wear it back in a bun of some description usually with this or a hair tie i don't really like wearing it down because i hate feeling it on my neck i usually rock a middle part but i'm over it it's boring and also when i do wear it in the middle part i get flyaways way worse than if i wore it straight back so I don't really know what to do because the bun just contributes to like these broken bits here, <laughs> which is annoying. I am still working. I've got the army hammer dog on. I don't know why I'm watching this because I last watched Dharma and that was horrifying. Miss Piggy is here asleep. I'm sure you'll hear her snoring and snuffling. And John has a cold which you can imagine how that is going. But I'm gonna do maybe like an hour's more work. I'm gonna take Rizzo. I'm gonna show you what I got from the grocery today and we're gonna cook the salmon. And I'm also gonna cook soup for John so that he has soup for the rest of the week because this cold, I'm tired and this headache's bothering me and I'm irritable. But I have everything to be grateful for. So. I'm going to crack on with some work for another 30 minutes to an hour. A grocery haul. Salmon. Shallots. Lemons. An apple pie. I don't usually buy this kind of stuff, but I was fancying it. I also got some Tesco Finest custard as well, because what other custard? Unless you're making it yourself. Spring onions. Ginger for the sixth person, sweet potato that I'm gonna roast for the sixth person. I'm gonna have my salmon with rice and I'm gonna make soup for John. Saturday. Today is Saturday the 20 something of October and I am tired. I'm tired and Rizzo has gone home. I have yoga in two hours and 45 minutes which means I need to leave the house in 40 minutes, but first I want to eat something. I don't usually like to eat before I work out, but I am a bit hungry. I'm having my coffee. And I'm gonna have some Greek yogurt with a banana. Can I just say yoga? I definitely meant yogurt. Definitely. I'm just gonna literally chop this banana into a bowl.
This is the best snack breakfast. I love yogurt, especially Greek yogurt. I don't like fruit flavor yogurt so much, or like yogurt with like berries and stuff in it. I'd rather just have. I don't want it mixed up. I want it separate. Or like, let me. It's complicated. Okay, here's the snack. Let's go sit down. Done with yoga, it was wonderful. And I'm having a little treat. Outside, but I might have to move soon because it's cold. This is a cute little spot. If you know where it is, make use of it because they have really nice hay furniture. I'm sat outside drinking my roller cola. This is where I used to come in summer when I wear a tetmalin. Um, it would be super hot and I didn't want to sit. Well, there's nowhere to sit in the store. I didn't want to sit outside the store, so I would come here and chill. And it's wonderful. And I would get an hour of sun. Sleepy now, though, after that yoga class, but I feel good definitely feel good. I love Letty's classes so much. I love the pace. I don't like how we both think it's silly. It just doesn't feel fun. So yeah, I like intent but intentional. <laughs> Why can I never be normal? All right, I'm back from yoga. Show you the fit. It's from a brand that I just started working with. Career work, not social media work. Um, long sleeve top to sample i don't know if it's going to be made but i like it these are i don't know what the leggings called because i just started working with them but they are the leggings from the brand socks are panty these are my pajamas i'm gonna put them back on because we are back home and we don't wear outside clothes in the house i'm gonna have a quick little spruce of the flat and there is dog hair absolutely everywhere we're going into a new season so rizzo was shedding like crazy and then i'm going to cook some lunch and chill today and then tomorrow i'm gonna film some autumn winter outfit content because i'm in my bag you guys and i'm sick of seeing the same stuff over and over again so i'm gonna talk everybody through how i build my wardrobe generally and the things i switch in and out for autumn and winter i've got my candle lit my friend caroline who you saw briefly in my paris vlog gave this to me as a gift it is so cute. It's like a mini votive. So this is votive size. I need to wipe my candles. And this is a mini votive. And it smells so good. It's like really vanilla-y, very rich and warm, a little bit woody without smelling like a teenage girl perfume. Like nothing turns me off more than immature smelling perfumes. And I don't know if you can like envision what I mean by immature, but basically anything like too sugary, um, anything that doesn't smell balanced, it just makes me want to die. This warm vanilla scent, it kind of reminds me a little bit of the vanilla eau de parfum from I'm Backlit, sorry, but you you know what I mean. I just don't like yucky cheap perfume. Sorry. Good morning. It is 7.15. I'm up early to do Pilates with my friend Gab. I will link Ab's info below. It's a free Pilates class. It's so windy and it's been so stormy all night. So hopefully this is relaxing. Apologies for the low light, guys. Let's do Pilates, I guess. <laughs> Shoreditch house to work. I uh, wanted to show you my outfit. You know what the hell's going on in this vlog? All with my hair. It's blow dried but not straightened, so it's very fluffy and up in a pom, as my mum would call it. The outfit is this Edwin jumper that desperately needs debobbling, and I've tucked it in. I've never worn it like this before, but I really like how it looks because I love the detail on these trousers from H and M. I got these in the summer, and they were about. 
feel like maybe 35 but i also feel like maybe 15 i'm not sure and then on my feet i'm wearing my georgian ones these have like a snake texture which i didn't realize when i bought them but actually they're very cute and let me show you the windbreaker that i'm gonna put on it's really not that cold outside but i do get cold when i'm sat still for a long time hence this jumper and sometimes they crank the ac right up in there which jars me so i'm not taking any risks i've got this on i can take it off if i get hot this coach jacket is from well fed so i don't know if anybody remembers i'm sure my people in the hardcore scene will know what i'm talking about um john d it was a graphic designer i don't know where he is in the world right now but he started a little like streetwear brand t-shirt company called well fed with his drawings and this is the coach jacket I think this is a men's medium it might even be a large it's huge but i've always worn things oversized and john wears coach jackets a lot for work and they're really practical for this time of year when it's a bit squirrely as we would say in anguilla so i was like oh do i need a coach jacket and then i remembered i had this one there is a back print it says well fed on the back with a little skull which is um one of his designs and i think i still have i had a bunch of hoodies and stuff i might have gotten rid of some of them yeah i might have gotten rid of them but i had a bunch of hoodies from welfare and i think i probably still got a t-shirt somewhere as well but yeah so this is a practical choice today but i actually quite like the sartorial effect let me go here so you can see the full look don't look behind there because that's where i keep all of my lamps and stuff and of course there is always laundry to fold let's hit the road jack good morning friends oh why am i on cinematic this looks good actually let me let me leave it on that i found a straggler no please i hung over straggler <laughs> we just ran to the gym to try and make the class and we failed miserably we so we are gonna go and have breakfast at shoreditch house for the vibes um Yasmin's hanging out of us. Her phone got stolen. <laughs> it's not funny because as you'd have seen from my Paris vlog, my London phone got stolen home. before. Um yeah, London is a, it's a spicy she's a spicy it's gal. Disgusting place. Alright, we're gonna go eat. from my parents house if you can hear chattering my dad's in the next room watching tv i left a little high little low jumper somewhere i had three gray black vintage sweats one white i've only got three at home and it's the biggest most oversized one that i can't find and that's my favorite one and i'm pretty sure i left it here the last time i was here i'm wearing my mum's ugly green place by the way but tell me why my dad just decided to help me go through a ton of stuff and i found some old clothes of mine including these shorts which i can't even hold up because maybe if i put you here you can see but these shorts that are so short holy shit what was i thinking i mean they're pajamas so that's fine but girl i'm so confused as to where this jumper is I've got no idea where it went. I've gone through the spare room, which is full of my mum's clothes and laundry. And I've gone through my dad's wardrobe. I wouldn't assume that my mum put it away in her wardrobe, but she's got so much clothes and so much stuff that I just cannot find this jumper. I really doubt that I left it somewhere, but maybe I did. Anyway, I'm gonna have a little bit more of a look, but today was really nice. I'll check in with you guys in a sec. Let me just look for this jumper before I lose my mind. <laughs> Never say no to an Aries or a person who likes data because look what I just found, the jumper. It was not in any of the places that my mum suggested it might be. She put it in the wardrobe. This is something that I do to John when <laughs> um, at home. So I need to maybe do that less, but to be fair to her, since then there've been so many guests at the house that I'm not surprised she just put it somewhere for safekeeping. I am going to get into bed and start editing. But before I do, let me tell you about today. Today was really cute. I was supposed to go to yoga with my friend Yasmin, who um, you saw, she's in town from QA and 
last night her phone got stolen so i brought my old phone to her with a portable charger and we had agreed to meet at 12 30 at liverpool street station we were both late in any case so we both show up to the boots that i said we would meet at the same time like out of breath and we were like right let's run to this gym class we get there and we were probably only a couple of minutes late but the class was so packed that we wouldn't have easily been able to slot in so we had lunch plans anyway and just decided to head to Shoreditch House straight away where we had pizza and some cocktails then Aisha and Sam who I invited to the class they finished yoga and they headed over to Shoreditch House as well and they had some friends with them so we all hung out together for a little while which was really really nice actually it was a really nice um Saturday I don't usually do a lot of stuff like this. I'm a bit of a homebody, but this was really nice. And so we had like an afternoon at Shoreditch House. And then after that, we went to um, this place called Umbrella something or other. These really, really lovely cocktails made from like niche alcohol. And it was so nice. The place is tiny, probably fit about 10 people in there. So if you ever have like a birthday or whatever, and you want to just invite a handful of people it's really cute i will link all the information down below and now i'm at home at my parents house i made them some salmon and my mum really likes the salmon that i make so that's quite cute i can do that for her and then i've just spent the last hour tearing the place apart trying to find this sweatshirt which i'm really glad that i've now found oh my throat is like tired from talking so much and i'm also quite dehydrated so i'm pounding this water and i think after today i need a bit of a detox till christmas so i might try and implement that let's see yeah now i'm quite tired even though it's only a, maybe just after eight i'm gonna edit this video tomorrow we are going to white city house for a late birthday lunch for my dad and then i'm gonna refilm the fashion video i haven't even looked through the footage yet but i wasn't happy with how rambly i felt i was being so i'm gonna film that again tomorrow um and be a bit more direct and on point and what have you yeah i'm probably gonna end this here i'm sorry if it's been a bit hodgepodge and like not showing you all that much but the next couple of videos i'm hoping will be better next week i've got an influencer event with glossier and uh, yeah wow november all right guys i Hope you enjoyed this one and everybody is having a good weekend. I'm wishing you a good week ahead and sending you all my love and I will see you in the next one. Bye.